So cybersecurity has pretty much become a critical component for all organizations, right? And with the increasing number of cyber threats, companies are struggling to protect their IT assets and information resources. Just is what it is. So one of the key things to help combat these threats that came out of the National Institute of Standards and Technology was the development of NIST 853, which is currently on revision five. Now, if you don't know anything about NIST, here's a little bit about it. It is a comprehensive security control catalog designed to help organizations implement and manage security controls. And those security controls are to be implemented specifically to protect IT assets and information resources. It provides a set of security controls, policies, procedures, and guidelines that organizations can basically use to enhance the security of their systems and networks. Um, it provides a critical framework basically for an organization to be able to hit the ground running with what they're doing. Um, it's divided into 20 control families, uh, each of which addresses a specific aspect of information security and privacy, including access control, incident response, risk management, etc. And each control family includes a set of security controls that organizations can use to protect their systems. Now, NIST 853 is certainly not a one-size-fits-all approach to cybersecurity, but it does a pretty damn good job. Instead, it should be viewed as a flexible framework, a foundational framework that allows organizations to help tailor their security controls specifically to their security needs because every organization is different. Um, and this is achieved basically by utilizing things called risk assessments and other implementations of security controls to help assess, triage, mitigate, and move forward. Now, you can use the NIST 853 as a roadmap to implement granular security requirements in pretty much any environment. And it provides guidance on how to identify and categorize information systems and types of security controls, etc. Because uh, one of the key aspects of it is you are, you're looking at your system, you're categorizing the type of data that's in it, you're choosing security controls that meet the requirement. You're not just going full bore, turn everything off, you're doing what's necessary to allow the CIA triangle, you know, confidentiality, integrity, and availability to commingle and exist so that the business can keep doing work. One of the main benefits of NIST 853 is that it is widely recognized and accepted as a standard for information security. And pretty much every other framework maps to it. Use the article below, use the following videos, learn about it because NIST 853 maps to NIST 800-171. It maps to the cybersecurity framework. It maps to pretty much everything. It's good to know, and it's very useful.